Jamison rope insulators provide an extra level of protection from electrical hazards when performing line clearance. Rope insulators interrupt the conductive path that could occur along a wet pruner rope. Rope insulators are made from solid fiberglass rods. Each rope insulator is tested to 100 kV per foot for five minutes. 12 inch insulators are rated for 100 kV and 7.5 inch insulators are rated for 62.5 kV. Inspect your rope insulator daily. Check the surface for any defects that may trap water, such as cracks, deep scratches, or dents. Be sure the surface is smooth and shiny. Confirm that no hardware is loose and confirm that both knots are dressed and set firmly. Wipe your rope insulator daily with a clean, dry cloth. If needed, clean it with a hot stick wipe or with isopropyl alcohol followed by a silicone treated cloth. The surface of the insulator should bead water rather than allowing it to streak. Remove the rope insulator from service if the surface is damaged. Clean and refinish the surface with hard wax and retest the insulator at 75 kV per foot for one minute. Permanently remove the insulator from service if it cannot pass this test. ANSI Z133 section 4.1.11 states that a conductive rope may not be used inside the minimum approach distance, or the MAD for short. And according to section 4.3.13, a qualified person may trim branches inside the MAD if they use insulated tools. So let us consider the situation when a qualified person is trimming inside the MAD. As we said earlier, the segment of rope the user is holding must not enter the MAD. Therefore, the rope insulator should be positioned outside the MAD. Once installed, the user is no longer touching conductive rope within the MAD. Now consider the segment of rope on the opposite side of the insulator from the user. It lies inside the MAD and it could potentially become energized down to the rope insulator. Therefore, a second MAD must be observed as measured from the user's hands up to the rope insulator. To summarize, attach your rope insulator outside the applicable MAD as measured from the energized conductor. Then, do not place your hands on the rope within the same applicable MAD as measured from your hands up to the rope insulator. Always follow your company procedures and follow the regulations that govern your industry. Rope insulators should not be considered as providing a foolproof level of protection from all electrical hazards. But when properly maintained and installed correctly, they provide an extra measure of safety in addition to your training and PPE.